I'm Susan Herring. I'm a professor in information and library science. For the past 28 years, I've been researching computer mediated communication or human human communication mediated by digital technology. Specifically, I study how the affordances and constraints of the technologies affect how people communicate and behave. Of course, as digital communication technologies have evolved over the years, DMC has also changed. For example, technological developments such as increasing bandwidth, convergence of CMC modes into a single platform, new mediating technologies such as robots, and advances in artificial intelligence have given rise to new CMC phenomena. Currently, my collaborators and I are researching three emergent phenomena that I'm going to review briefly today, what I call interactive multimodal platforms, graphics-mediated CMC, robot-mediated communication, and in the fall, we'll start a project on smart speaker-mediated communication. Interactive multimodal platforms, or IMPs, are digital platforms that support a convergence of channels or modes, text plus audio, video, and or images for user-to-user -user communication. And you can see many examples here on the slide, some of which might be familiar to you. IMPs raise questions about how users cognitively and physically manage engagement and activities in different media on the same platform, especially when the interaction takes place in near real time. So for example, playing a uh, shooter game and chatting at the same time. Also, the addition of audio and video to textual CMC raises issues about potential loss of anonymity and privacy, and the increasing sophistication of technology that allows images of faces to be digitally manipulated and animated challenges the notion of authentic communication and raises ethical issues. Graphics mediated CMC or GCMC is digital communication consisting partly or entirely of graphical icons or what we call graphicons with or without verbal language. Examples of graphicons include ASCII emoticons, emoji and stickers on Facebook, animated GIFs, image macros, and Animoji on the iPhone X, which track the user's facial expressions. Graphicons make CMC more emotional and can change the tone and pragmatic force of verbal messages. An emoji can be strung together to form sentences, although their meanings are often ambiguous. Thus, one set of issues raised by GCMC concerns the interpretability of graphicons and the potential for misunderstanding caused by their use. Another question is whether emoji will evolve into a separate linguistic system, and if so, whether it could become a universal graphical language. The third emergent phenomenon is telepresence robot-mediated communication, or RMC. This is human-human communication in which at least one party is telepresent via and remotely piloting a robot. Telepresence robots have existed since 1998, but it's only become feasible to deploy them in real world contexts since internet bandwidth expanded in the mid 2000s. In addition to connecting people socially, that's me in the middle uh, at, a, at a social event in the robot, telepresence robots are being used for remote presentations, conference attendance, and in educational and healthcare settings. Now, when it works well, RMC is more casual and sociable than video conferencing. However, communicating through a mobile robotic form raises a number of issues. For example, RMC affects uh, social interaction requiring a renegotiation of social and interactional norms. RMC has mostly been studied in experimental studying settings, but we're currently negotiating with the Marine Biology Center in Santa Cruz, California, to record visitors interacting naturalistically with telerobotic staff around aquarium exhibits. Finally, smart speaker mediated communication is when people use smart speakers such as the Amazon Echo, Google Home, or Apple HomePod to call or leave messages for other people. The study is in the planning stages, but it's based on the observation that smart speakers are sometimes used to mediate interaction even between two people in the same house. 
such as feuding couples who don't want to speak face to face. <laughs> Given the increasing ubiquity of these devices and their integration of artificial intelligence, it's critical to understand their effects on human communication. Uh, last, I just want to briefly mention that I direct the Center for Computer Mediated Communication on campus. Uh, and if you're interested in CMC, I invite you to visit the center's web website. There's the URL. Thank you.